Today I'm going to show you how to set up audio recording with Proclaim. This may seem like a daunting or expensive task if you're not sure what you're doing. So I've come over to Redeemer Church and I'm going to show you how to set it up using real equipment. The first thing we're going to do is figure out what cable we need. So in order to do that, we're going to take a look at the back of our computer and the back of our soundboard. So if we look at the back of the board, now they're already sending audio from their computer via these RCA cables. And right underneath it, they have an open output. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. So now that I have my cable, this is a RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable. I'm going to go ahead and plug the left and right plugs into this. And now we'll move back over to our computer and plug this end in. Here we are at the back of the computer and we can see they're already sending audio out via this headphone jack. And luckily we actually have a line in right next to it, a 3.5 millimeter jack. And this is pretty common on a desktop computer, but if you have a laptop, you may need to look for a USB converter from 3.5 to a USB. So here's the cord I plugged into the board earlier. And I'll just plug it in here. So now that we've plugged the cable in to the back of our board and our computer, we're going to need to patch the sound we wish to record to the output we used on the soundboard. This is going to vary from soundboard to soundboard, so you might want to get your sound guy involved if you're not familiar with your board. I've already set it up to use these two faders, and I've patched output 5 and 6 that I used earlier. So now that we have our board set up, we're going to go over to Proclaim and make sure we're selecting the appropriate input for our audio. So here in Proclaim, I've opened an example presentation. and I'm going to go to the Settings menu and click on Audio. Now under the audio tab, it might have selected a default device. In this case, it's our internal microphone. So I'm going to click that and select line in. So this is the feed coming from the board that I just patched earlier. I'm able to record a sample and listen to it to make sure it sounds good before using this for service. This example presentation already has audio cues set up. Now that we've set up our audio device, when we reach this point in service, our recording will start automatically. And once we've navigated past the last slide in our sermon, it will stop recording.